Sorry, it took so long. Oh, it's okay. Well yeah. worth it. <laughs> Thank you. It's good. You get big, big merit. <laughs> Very good. Good. Anyway, are you guys all comfortable? You put your under the feet some more cushions. Also, if you want to put here one, here one. <laughs> more comfortable, okay? But you put here one, here one. You have to put all the time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, please, please sit, everybody comfortable, <coughs> okay? <coughs> Good. Anyway, we are cold weather, but we are fortunate to come together, talk about a little bit uh, benefit for our life. How you be happy about uh, religion called Majjhima Dharma? Uh, related with Dharma? Related with Dharma. <coughs> anyway, I'm also very happy to, with a little bit of my baby knowledge, explain with you guys, share with you guys. Mm -hmm. It's also my Chris Suzuki, the Jana Pemphatan, it is. Benefit Anyway, good. Then, uh, I think better to my switch off my English. <laughs> Maybe next, next take, next time. That can say, 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 So, we have to think about the purpose in our practicing or studying Dharma. And then, that can say, that can say, that can say, that can say, that can and also, we should think, you know, what are the benefits of uh, studying about that? And then, you know, you must tell us what you say, you know, Sanjay said, you know, 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 uh, so um, we should think about you know the past Buddhas, you know the holy beings, uh, the lamas, the abbots, and so forth, you know who achieved such and such state through studying the same dharma that we are studying. So taking them as example, <coughs> if we do just as they did, then definitely we can become like them. That's for. 100% sure. That was a goal, that goal, come on. That was our ultimate goal. Today is that, now you said, the Chiwa is not Karipento, you are. How did you have the other Chetashi? What kind of benefits are there if we practice Dharma? And also, you know, for that, we have to know how to practice Dharma. That's not you, Chiwa, that's Chetantelaya, that's not all. <laughs> so we are practicing Dharma, there are many different ways. 
So the reason why there are many different ways of practicing Dharma is because uh, the unwanted suffering that we experience and it comes from many different ways. And mainly it is motivated by the ignorance <coughs> through that then we create the karma so when we create the negative karma, you know, <coughs> motivated by ignorance, then there are two different ways uh, the which we create. Uh, one is an independence you know, on uh, uh, the lamas, the gurus, the buddhas, you know, the higher up there. And then uh, one is independence upon sentient beings who are lower down there. And then we will purify the native karma also has different ways, like you know, create you know, purifying the native karma through our body, through our speech and through our mind. And so <coughs> so we either create native karma through our body or either through our speech or, or through our mind, right? So is there any way of creating Nehru Karma other than through these three body, speech and mind? So, so that was the entire typing. So that's again related with your body, right? Fingers. Body and your mind, body. <laughs> so how do we create a um, negative <coughs> karma in relation to you know the uh, higher you know beings or you know, holy beings? And the maki ba she ba and the kama ti ba. What do you think about this? And mainly through not not respecting them and not, <coughs> and not you know um, uh, listening to their advices. And this same thing happened in Kanji Dubasarana. That so she checked something on it. That was not that far So how do we create a karma in relation to other sentient beings? It's mainly by you know <coughs> disregarding them. What is it? That is by is that that is Namjuma Zota. And the Tongsha Dan Dewe. That Namne Chana Dewe. And so here, here at the center we sometimes do the practice you know, of uh, 35 Buddha prostration, mm -hmm. a prostration to 35 Buddhas. And she chanted not to cheat the Bama Kiwala Ta. What is it? That two shall attain it, the bus shall have a career of the Vaina. And he and Tangan to Lila, the Bala, Liji, Carolina is the Maga Sami Vaina, Tangan Yasan and Dave, the Bala Pasha. And so how we could, <coughs> sort of how we uh, do the practice you know, of uh, um, confession you know, to the downfall, uh, through the practice of making prostration to 35 Buddhas, you know, <coughs> is uh, again you know, through our body, speech, and mind. And so usually, you know, um, the, 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 the practice, you know, uh, for the downfall, confessions, you know, the downfall. And so <clears throat> because we have broken the vows or you know, gone against, you know, the advices or instructions, you know, of the gurus, uh, and therefore, thereby you are creating the downfall. And so in order to purify that karma, then this practice is designed. And so there are vows or <coughs> the rules, you know, uh, prescribed by the Buddha, you know, and so uh, he says, you, know, you cannot do this, you know, uh, so, and then if you do that, you know, then you become, you know, it becomes daily karma. Um, <coughs> so that's, those, uh, the vows or the rules, you know, prescribed by the Buddha, is not for their own benefit, and so it's for our benefit, they prescribe the, those vows. Says if you do that, then you're going to create a karma. So therefore, you should not do that. You know that that was kind of the 
rule set by the Buddhas. Um, <coughs> so, for example, if Buddha said, don't create any dukkama, non virtuous actions, uh, like the ten non virtuous actions, um, then uh, you know, it doesn't benefit Buddha if you don't create it, or if you create it, you know. Uh, but if we don't create it, then it benefits ourselves, you know, and so it's for our own benefit. Okay? <coughs> so since we create negative karmas you know, through our body, speech, and mind, therefore we have to purify those negative karmas also through our body, you know, through our body, speech, and mind. So Buddha said, you know, don't so by making prostrations, you know, bowing down to others with respect. And uh, making circumambulations you know, of the holy objects, we create, I mean, we purify negative karmas created through our body. <coughs> so if we chant or recite any kind of prayers, especially in this context, uh, um, reciting the name of the Tadva Buddhas. Uh, if we do that, then we purify the native commas created through our speech. And then also, <coughs> if you, you know, mentally, you know, through your mind, mentally, if you uh, think about the qualities, you know, of the uh, the Talipa Buddhas and you know, think about and remember their you know, <coughs> the qualities of speech, then. Um, that you purify the name of karma is created through our minds. And so we usually make prostrations, right? And so we usually make prostrations, right? And so we usually make prostrations, right? And so we usually make prostrations, So when you fold your hands together, as you see Geshe Lhasa doing, and so you, your hands you know, should not be flat, you know, uh, to, uh, and the palms you know, should not be flat. Against each other. That the Buddhist is not much of this. The, uh, the, uh, the hedonist, you know, the folders, Buddhist folders, uh, where uh, folding their hands. So, as a Buddhist, you, know, you have to fold your hands with your palms yeah. tucked inside okay. in the middle of your palm. You may see? Not this, not this. That knee is that noble, so it's noble. So, that you know, like <coughs> resembles uh, uh, a jewel, <coughs> like Rush Perfin jewel. And the Tim is not much of it, that's not the Tumba Mahima. And then uh, the thumb tucking inside, you know, shows that it's not empty inside. And so first, you, know, you fold with your hands fold together, you place them on your crown. And so that leaves the imprint, you know, for us to achieve uh, the Buddha's, Buddha's protrusion. And that's on the top, the protrusion. And also that uh, uh, leaves the imprint you know, to achieve Buddha's body, holy body. Then also some people put here this. Let me see how come it is. And then also they place the hand you know, at the forehead. Uh, so that's, 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 that's uh, the wisdom hair, and, uh, the coiled hair, and the Buddha has that. So also it says, you know, maybe, I, I'm not exactly sure what it is for, but I think, you know, could be to achieve that. <coughs> and then after that you prove that you are, you know, the throat. <coughs> um, so then uh, <coughs> that leads the imprint, you know, to achieve Buddha's the holy speech. <coughs> And then you place your hand, you know, fold your hand together at your heart, and that is to achieve the, the holy, you know, mind of the Buddha, you know, all the, you know, the, the qualities of the Buddha's mind, like, you know, um, the, uh, the, was it the great bliss, you know, of you know, the emptiness and so forth, so all these you know, qualities you know, of the Buddha's holy mind, 
so that is to you know leave an imprint you know, uh, in our mind you know, to achieve the um, the holy body, holy spirit, and holy mind of the Buddhas. Uh, and then as you do the prostration in that way, uh, also it will be good you know, to recite verbally the mantras. There's one particular mantra called multiplying mantra. So that mantra you know, is, um, it says multiplying mantra, it multiplies. You know, so, you know, when you make the prostration of that, it multiplies the merit. Uh, so if you are doing just a short and uh, a short prostration, then you can do that. And if you do long, then uh, you know, do it by reciting the Tarifa Buddha's names. Uh, and then when you make prostration, there is a, a full length, uh, full stretch in the prostration, and also there's called half prostration, or you just you bend your half in the body. So, so the short prostration or the half prostration you just made, you know, just touch the four or five limbs, like the two hands, the two legs, and then the, the forehead. Uh, full prostration, you, know, you, you stretch your whole body uh, flat you know, on the ground. Uh, so it says that you know, how much how much uh, the area you cover with your body, that much of you know a merit you create. So whatever amount of the, the earth you know you have covered with your body, then uh, equal to the number of the atom of that earth, you know you create merit that much. You know, so how, however much you cover, that much more you, know, you create merit. <coughs> And at that time, you know, <coughs> making prostration, not just thinking that there is this uh, 35 Buddhas, but also think about all other Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and, and all other, you know, uh, the, the holy beings and deities and so forth uh, around them, the whole you know, space you know, filled with them. And then also, when you're making prostration, you're not, you're not you're alone making prostration, but imagine all sentient beings around you. You know, uh, you are surrounded by all these ancient beings and obviously all these realms and they are all making prostration together with you. If you can think like that, then also that's much more meritorious. Also, during that time, don't think you know, that they take my space. Go in my space, don't think that, okay? They start to go like that, and then they go to my massage, and they go to my massage, and they go to my massage, and they go to my uh, so when you place, when you, you know, uh, land down on the, on, the, on the ground, your hands you know, should not go like this. You know, should not turn the, your, not on your fingers like this. Okay. And so then he says again, <coughs> that creates like the, the animals, you know, to be born as animal with the paws. You know, like that. born to that, you know, pickle, they can do that. Pickle. So when you get tired again of making procession, you cannot, you know, stay lie down for a long time. <laughs> so then that also leaves you to be born a snake. Snake. Sometimes we do posture long when we tired, just feel a little bit like that. Do you do this? Of course, there are a lot of uh, benefits and a lot of merits credit you know, during the prostration, but if you don't do it in the right way, then there's also a risk of creating uh, non-virtuous actions. 
ਨੇ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਇੱਛੂ ਸ਼ਬੇ ਇਹ ਦੇ ਜੀ ਤਾਂ ਭੈਣ ਲਾ ਪਾ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਪਾ ਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਬਸਤਾ ਤੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੇਰੇ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਦਾ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਨਾ ਦੇ ਅਬਾਉਟ ਦ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਇਨ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸਸ ਦੈਨ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਦੈਟ ਇਟ ਸੀਮਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਜਸਟ ਬਾਈ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਵਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਗੈਟ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਟਮੈਂਟ ਇਹ ਨਾ ਗੰਜੂ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਇੱਛੀ ਨਾ ਤਾਤਾ ਛੇ ਮੈਂ ਵਾ ਇਨਸਾ ਤਾਤਾ ਨਾ ਨਾ ਦੇ ਯਾ ਤਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਾਰੇ ਰੋ and it's true that there is such a benefit but because we are not doing it the right way or not doing you know the way we are told to do and therefore you know we are not free um, you know, from cyclic systems okay and is that you shall 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 pick up some was so you know how to make procession right yes they chant to and nala chena and kali chena that they are nepal or they na in jim ji so ma na ya ta li da ma ye so ko ki chena de yes that's the number of chena and so if you can make prostration then because uh, uh, of your physical condition like if you are sick or something and you can make prostration then you can just you know uh bow down slightly bow down a little bit and then you know, in in that way with your body speech and mind you bow down uh, and that also becomes prostration chao to pena ni mare sha jare pita wa ina chao sha ja pena ni chao to ta cha sha ja ba chao to sin chan chao mare and then there's also other benefit of you know keeping yourself fit uh, if you are able to bear 100 prostration then you don't have to worry about getting fat <laughs> you don't need to go to gym <laughs> okay you don't want to pay that you don't want to try you want to run that that is a no oh that na subon chete chete shop pe samne yahan the ya bol mara the same the same me this so of course that is the uh, you know the benefit on the side you should not aim for that right <laughs> in order to keep myself fit i'm going to make procession you, do that, you don't get any other benefits what is that that shop you are that guy you know group of mood was and so there are many pro- many you know, um, uh, reasons or many purposes for making procession right what and that number of people don't know she saw it i don't think that shop is the kelam which is was and also because we have taken the vows refuge vows so, so also have made a promise to make prostrations right mm-hmm. do you guys have water if you have water you have to water if not you get very tired which to go your side some no much in years so if you have water you can drink water if you don't have that you can think you are drinking water <laughs> okay no 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 this is just um then makes it's a joke it's not kind of this okay <laughs> ਆ ਜੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਸਾਥੀ ਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਹ ਵੀ ਬਗਾਲਾ ਯਾ ਤਾਂ ਨਾ ਜੋ ਅਨੀ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਦੇ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਹ ਚੋਗੀ ਚੋਗੀ ਨੇ ਸ਼ਾਦ ਕਿਉਂ ਹੋਈ ਨਾ ਅਨੀ ਤਾਂ ਜੋ ਸੰਗ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਚ ਮਾਈ ਹੋਰੇ ਸਰ ਵਾ ਐਂਡ ਸੋ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਮੇਕ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਲ ਰਿਸਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਦ ਨੇਮਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਥਰੀ ਫਾਇਵ ਬੁਲਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਇਨਕਨਸੀਵਰਬਲ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਵਾ ਤੇ ਜੇ ਇਹਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਅਨੇ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਹ ਚੋਗੀ ਚੋਗੀ ਚੇ ਸਮਾਂ ਲਾ ਅਨੇ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਸ਼ਾ ਤਾਂ ਨਾ ਤੋਂ ਦੁਪਾ ਦੇ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਨਾ ਜੋ ਕੋਲ ਸਾਹ ਸ਼ਾ ਬਾਈ ਨਾ ਦੁਪਾ ਤਾਂ ਲੋਗੇ ਵਾ ਜਾ ਅਨੇ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਹ ਤੇ so if we do the practice of purification with the four opponent powers you know that <coughs> then it's, it is very certain you know to uh, have that negative action they become a purified um, so in the practice of you know, this uh, 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 the prostration to the tarifa buddha it includes you know, all those four po- opponent powers the time also to let them move and you know by in by inza and it that ਜੰਬੋਦੇ ਤੇ ਜਿੱਤਾ ਚਾਚੋ ਤੇ ਤਾਂ ਬੋਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਨਾਮ ਵਾਲੇ ਤੇ ਜਿੱਤਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਚੰਬੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਚੰਬੋ ਤੇ ਜਿੱਤਾ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਸੋ ਐਸ ਦ ਪਾਵਰ ਆਫ ਦ ਬੇਸਿਸ ਦ ਪਾਵਰ ਆਫ ਦ ਬੇਸ ਪਾਵਰ ਆਫ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਦ ਰੈਫਿਊਜ ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਰੈਫਿਊਜ ਇਨ ਦ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਜੋਸ ਸੋ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਥਰਬਾ ਬੁੱਧਾ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਵਿਦ ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਰੈਫਿਊਜ ਰਾਈਟ ਇਨ ਦ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਜੋਸ ਐਂਡ ਮੇਕ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਆਈ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਮੇਕ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਇਨ ਆਈ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਟੇਕ ਰੈਫਿਊਜ ਇਨ ਦ ਬੁੱਧਾ ਆਈ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਟੇਕ ਰੈਫਿਊਜ ਇਨ ਦ ਆਰਮ ਸੋ ਫੋਰ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਵਿਦ ਦੈਟ and that includes the power of the basis you know and the the whole man it that sanjay sanjay somala ya and sanjay book and shop you know there are new book this is that was you know and then um, because we are reciting the names of the tarifa buddhas uh, as we make prostration or you know do that uh, do that practice um that recitation of the tarifa buddhas name itself becomes the power of antidote that the mass not that we think that you are that nyabala la and you know ਨਮਸਤੇ 
Native, you think about the Native commas that you have created, you know, uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, the Native commas that will, be, that will lead you to be born in such and such place and so forth. So those are the Native commas that you think about you know, that you might have created in the past, and, and then you uh, uh, generate a sense of regret. So regret for having created those Native karma, and that is the power of regret. So Keshe was saying that if you know maybe next time we can have the text you know with us in front of us then okay, so at, at, at what point you know uh, what, what practice we're doing and uh, what power you know, uh, uh, what, what opponent power it explains in about and so forth so it will be good to have the text in, in front of us. And then also there is uh, you know the power of the promise. Which says that oh, even, and I'm not going to create this kind of negative outcome again, even at the cost of my life. And so that includes all these four opponent powers. And then also the these seven limb practices you know, <coughs> uh, are also all included <coughs> in this practice you know, of the Tarifa Buddhas. あの、ちゃんとやらしゃ。天でね。あれ、たつかにばささわてきちゃね。ちゃんとそさでじゃんちゃうかね。ここでちゃんとし。あれ、なんばせじょうだ。にばぞさ、ちゃんばちね。はこ
And so, like I said earlier, when you have vacuum position, if you imagine a you know, vacuum position with many beams together, uh, <coughs> not just by oneself, but with all many beams together, and you know, create more merit. <coughs> and so, the most important thing is to have regret, strong regret. Without regret, uh, <coughs> the negative karma will not get purified. <coughs> And so like you said, you know, with hard regret, you will not purify negative karma. So uh, whatever negative karmas that you have created in the past, you know, a regret in a general sense of strong regret, as if you have you know, uh, taken or swallowed uh, poison in your, in your, in your, in your, through your mouth you know, and got into your stomach. <coughs> And so if you, you know, <coughs> uh, think like that, uh, then uh, it will help you know, not to uh, uh, engage in that kind of negative karma in the future. Okay. So that was just a <coughs> the brief explanation about uh, making prostration you know, to the 35 Buddhas. And we got it. We have a little bit of idea how you do prostration, and what benefits, and what benefits you decide uh, and so rejoicing, <coughs> if, you, if you see someone uh, you know, uh, creating very really good karma and then you feel happy about that, you think that that's very good then? That's the rejoicing. So if you rejoice over other people's good karma, then you create the same amount of merit as they do. So when you see others uh, creating positive karma, uh, instead of being jealous you know, with them, if you rejoice you know, over their good karma, then you create the same amount of karma, same amount of merit or good karma as they do. Uh, so rejoicing, you know, is, uh, is the one of, you know, one of the easiest ways to create you know, merit. So without having, having to work hard, you know, just by thinking you know, that's good, and you can create very, uh, a, a, large amount of, uh, a large amount of merit. Um, <coughs> so if somebody is doing good, you know, uh, and we rejoice over that, then you know, that becomes good for ourselves also. Uh, but most of us, we are not able to think good about others, right? So we become jealous when we see good in others, we become jealous instead of rejoicing. <coughs> and then uh, we become jealous and then we try to go against them and then then, then, then we face so many other problems, right? Okay, this <coughs> So that was just a, a short explanation about making procession to the third Buddhists. And so having to having to having to have work hard uh, and without spending any money or <coughs> much difficulties, and you can create a lot of merit by doing those practices, right? And then today shopping they get a chance to show <coughs> so if you make a decision you know, um, you know, to the holy objects in a place you know, where it is being kind of, um, uh, blessed by you know, holy beings you know, who do the same similar kind of practice you know, there in that place, then that's more beneficial. Uh, and then does the the, the the hall in here, um, the temple here, uh, uh, is very holy, you know, and 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 is being blessed by the, um, uh, the presence of uh, many holy beings like His Holiness and so forth. So you know this is a very holy place, you know. And if you make prostration here, 
it's much more meritorious than maybe in other ordinary places. So there's no better place than here. In, in this country, okay. <laughs> in this country. <clears throat> you can see in the Tibetan, the Tibetan culture, they go to, only the politician go to East Tibetan, to the center Tibetan. So some people from all the way from the east you know, go to the central Tibet, the Lhasa, where the <coughs> uh, where the Chuo, um, the Shakyamuni statue is, and they they go all the way there by making prostration along the way. You guys saw you can saw some yeah. some 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 movies pictures, right? Yeah. Then uh, also when they do circumambulation, they do lot of prostration with circumambulation. So by doing that, they create a lot of merits and leave very good and positive imprints. We need to post it around here, then people think they are crazy. It's different culture. When first, you know, there are some Tibetan people among us, you know, they say, Oh, Mandu Pemo, Mandu Pemo, they're just very loud, recent mantra, they're walking around, then some neighbors start. They're crazy. <laughs> they speak with their, uh, they talk. They talk their their sense. Themselves. <laughs> you know, yeah. you, they do the mantra. That, you know, people don't understand. You know, they they just talk their self. They say, "That go, go look on the camera. Oh, that's just a shot of the kitchen shot. That's all." So it's a different, um, you know, environment. Otherwise, making prostration is very important. So we can have further discussion in the future again uh, to make it more, more, clear, more and more clear. So there's a detailed explanation about these 35 years <coughs> when you visualize them in the marriage field. Uh, <coughs> and then you visualize each type of Buddha, each of the type of Buddhas, you know, when you make prostration by reciting the, each of the names, you know, and you visualize that particular Buddha, uh, what form, you know, what color of the forms that, that Buddha, the Buddha has, and, you know, what kind of you know, gestures or position, you know, he's sitting in and so forth, you can talk about all those details. Good. Anyway, how many people are doing the prostration every night? Good. How many people do it at night? Oh, what is that? What? What ask? Show can you tell us? What else? Come on. How many people do the morning? It's good, you guys, very good. Good. This is also we have to do when you take the refuge power, you say, I'm doing Kalo. Three months. Ah, three you should take two chicken and you can actually as well. So we have taken a vow. <coughs> when you take the refuge vow, you also made a vow you know, to make four stations, like uh, six times a day. Uh, you know, six, six times a day. So you know, usually it can't be all six times in throughout the day, throughout 24 hours. So we do three times in the morning and three times in the evening. If you love, okay? If you love to take the refuge, then you have to do this. So. <coughs> so, uh, of course, you don't have to take the vow, the fish vow, but you can take it. Uh, if you take it, then you have to do the prostrations. You know, three prostrations in the morning and three prostrations in the evening. This is easy. When you get up, you use to custom. Custom. You custom, then very easy. When you get up, you can just take a water medical yard. Also, in it, you just remind water medical to come back you go back. If you either do it, then or with a little heart. <coughs> okay? That's good. And then down on the down on the matter we need. Down on the sand here, can you sit down sandy job and we treat you from what you just do some days ago? So now we're gonna go into the text, uh so the so number uh or the graduate part of the So generally Buddha has taught uh eighty four thousand and heaps of doctrines. And so the reason is because there are uh, 84,000 know, delusions. Uh, so in order to contract you know, with these uh, contract with these uh, delusions, 
So all these teachings, um, uh, the 84,000 hymns of doctrine that Buddha taught, are all combined you know, into uh, the lamp on the passing lantern you know, written by Lama Tisha. Are you guys, are you guys carrying 84,000 negative karmas? <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. 84,000. You think, oh, I don't have that kind. I don't have that much negative, right? <laughs> And so then, um, uh, that those London teachings you know, by Lama Tisha, um, that's again, you know, uh, made it even simpler you know, for us to understand, easier, probably which is put into this uh, text you known as liberation of palm of your hand. So if we practice this uh, well, then definitely we will get enlightened you know, through this. What is so you remember what we started last time? Right now. So page 292. Yeah, two that. And the the What's the heading number? Day 10. Day 10. Just after day 10. We said, the month, 10 months. We are we are start here maybe more than ten months ago. That is a strange thing. That was same thing. That was number number one. Ranga today in this. Man, today we are changing to the color. Changing to the color. Yes. So that's a verse from a guide to the masses who have life, right? You see that? Which doctor? Uh, which heading number? The heading numbers are the easiest way. To um, the there's no heading for that part. It's oh, okay. straight up to the day ten. Just the start. Of yeah, start of day ten. So okay. if you go a little bit down, Shantan. next page. Three twenty nine. There is a verse uh, by Shantideva engaging in the disabled sadhus. So yeah, that verse where it says, if you have not even dreamed of benefiting yourself before benefiting of you know, these four sentient beings, how could you be of benefiting others? Okay. You guys see that the verse? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think that verse is talking about? What what they're talking about? Yeah. <coughs> Basically doing a small scope first. Good. Thank you. <laughs> you see? She's she's a hundred percent right. Scum small scum and so give us something yum then. Tell you not to the chair, what? So we engage in the practice of the small scops, right? I mean the big scops. And the chair with chumus at eh, and then run it and then song, I'm caught and song and then song to my child, eh? The small scorpion you know, is a being you know, who is uh, afraid of uh, the sufferings in the lower realms and for oneself. And in order to free oneself from that, then engage in the practice. So that is mainly for oneself you know, to be free from the suffering of the lower realm. You engage in that practice. That's called the small scorpion. And then the small, the medium scope, you know, is a uh, person or being who is afraid of the sufferings of both the <coughs> lower realm and the psychosystem. And in order to be free from the suffering of both lower realm and psychosystem in general, uh, then uh, he or she engages in the practice of that small scope. I mean, sorry, medium scope. And the Jew Chamber and that same time, John Cord and the other one, Delhi Madonna in June will do. And that time is at the Sanjay Komato will do, so that Jew Chamber will do. Uh, and then the, uh, the great scope you know, is a being you know, who thinks that um, I must you know, free all sentient beings you know, from the sufferings of the lower realms and the psychics. And in order to free them, I have to gain enlightenment. So in order to gain enlightenment, in order to free them, these beings, um, I have to engage in this practice. So engaging in the practice with that thought is called great scope. <laughs> Oh, yes, 
<coughs> so this verse, you know, as, as, like it says here, if you have not even dreamed uh, of entering yourself before dreaming uh, of this for sentient beings, how could you be uh, of, uh, uh, of benefit to others? So, so if you haven't thought about you know, freeing yourself from these self suffering self sacrificing and the lower realms, and how could you even, even in the dream, then how could you even think about uh, uh, helping others to be to free from their sufferings in the lower realms and hyperstate? So first we have to think, you know, how do we generate that kind of thought? So usually we are always encouraged you know, to think about you know, the, the dread scopes, right? So how do we how do we Engage in the small or medium scope before that. So first, you know, we have to think for that. Think that for ourselves. You know, I don't. I don't want to experience all this suffering. I don't want to experience the sufferings of the lower ones. I don't want to experience you know, the sufferings of the existence. You know, first, you think about, especially for yourself, not to experience the sufferings of the lower ones. Uh, and uh, so you think about uh, not only fearing from the sufferings of the Lord, but also fearing from the entire cycle history. And that's the suffering of the entire cycle history. And then there are three general sufferings in the cycle history, right? The suffering of suffering, suffering of change, and all progressive sufferings. Uh, so suffering or suffering can be recognized even by the same being. I mean, even by the, uh, the animals, not only human beings, even by the animals. So any kind of <coughs> like the normal pains that we have, like the, the pain in the leg, pain in the, the stomach, pain in the head, also this pain that we experience is the suffering of suffering. So the suffering of change is not recognized. <coughs> so what normally you know ordinary beings recognize as a, uh, as a, as a happiness you know, is is said to be not happiness by Buddha. Yeah, so Buddha said that is suffering. Can you guys give some examples? Someone give the example. <laughs> good, yeah, good, good. So we think if we get this object or, or material thing, um, <coughs> we think if we get this material object thing that it will make us happy. But it's it's not true happiness. In fact, then we are more attached to more things and we're we're not getting happy that way. That's one example. うん、たてれてすぐ感じるな。こてろ、こ、こでも丸そうにねれれ、ラウラシャシャはいな。ペシャはいな。うん。これ。ペレラオ、レラオロシャがなんか、なんかただちょっとずつでてます。まあ、ま
Right. So, <clears throat> so I don't want to go through those kind of sufferings, you know, those kind of any kind of those sufferings, like right? the suffering of pain, suffering of change, suffering of overweight sufferings. And so just like me, uh, just like I don't want to experience all the suffering, other sentiments are all the same. You know, you don't want you to experience any of those sufferings. And so by thinking about you know, the, you know, thinking about those things and then you think, well, so I should you know, free all them, all of these sentiments from all their sufferings. And so in order to do so, I must achieve enlightenment. So for that, I'm going to engage in this practice. So if you have that thought, then that becomes the girl's cup. So how, that's how you have these thoughts you know, before the girl's cup thought. So if you don't recognize your own suffering, you will not be able to think about other suffering, right? We don't know the other people are suffering or not. If they are sad, if they are sad, then we know their problems. Usually, you know, also we think the material is whatever he said, correct? We have one part which have whatever we have a lot of material things. Then people think this. I'm free from the other suffering, right? <coughs> but whatever we don't have Satisfaction. Contentment. <coughs> contentment. Whatever we don't have contentment, we never ever enough to touch of the We'll never be enough with whatever we have. Right? For example, for I don't know. We say we have ten dollars. Maybe seven account, ten dollars. We need to we need to pay. So I wish I have the hundred dollar there. And I'm more more good. Then you put hundred. Then you say, oh, I need to be thousand. Then you go, go up, up. You are not, never enough. Right? We say, we never think, oh, now I'm done. Now I don't need to anything. We never ever think that, right? Usually, always we need to more, more, more. If there are not, then we need another one. Then we need that, then we are more nice one. Then we have jealous coming. Then some other have, people have more, then we say, oh, they have that kind of quality. Some other way. <coughs> this is the other uh, social media, right? So that's because of not having contentment. Okay, anyway, then the other one is COVID, and then the other one is the other one. They want to tell you my age, right? So, <coughs> so all these uh, things in the cycle existent, um, uh, the, the body, the possessions, and so forth in cycle existent, never gives us uh, any uh, satisfying happiness. And so of course we need these things. Since we have to live, we need those things. Oh, you have to watch. Thank you. I don't want to talk too much. The other one, I have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, get here. I have to go. <laughs> When temperature is cold, then we have to go to more water. <coughs> okay. And then by the time I was in my lag with the water, I just think that that was more love for us. And then, think that that was more love for us. And then, 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 that was more love for us. Um, so, uh, in the text, it says that when we speak of small and medium scopes, we mean training the mind in the stages of the path, of path shared with the small and medium scopes. We do not mean training the mind in the actual small and medium, medium parts of the path. So, suppose there are three people, uh, one <coughs> going to Tashilumbu, one to Rong, and uh, one to Shushu. Yeah. So, uh, the first one wants to go to Tashilumbu, uh, it must, uh, but must you know, uh, first share some of the road with the other two. And so, anyway, we're not, we're, not about, we're not familiar with these places, but it's just an example. Right? Uh, <coughs> uh, we have, in the U.S. we have a lot of roads, right? If you want to go here, we don't need to go this way, we have to go this way, this way, this way. I think that Tibetan there is only one, <laughs> one road go to that the last place. The three people go to that, maybe, you know, like an example, you have to go to here, then this, you know, you have to one place, here, one place, and come to here, 
that here we can go to that institutional place, they should cut. They have to go, three people come to here, someone go here, something go, but they all, whoever go to here, they have to take this same road, other two people. They're talking about, if someone go to the chief enlightenment, but they have to think about first, small scope, medium scope, then great scope, all go together. The person is always all. So that's like the example. ถ้าเทมะเราชื่อตัวเราเนี่ยดูกันมาเทมะเทมะแต่ว่าถ้าเชื่อเราไม่ได้สมัครเชื่อว่าถ้าเทนี่ยังถ้าเด็กนี้ก
And so it says here clearly, right, to develop uh, bodhicitta, which is the actual practice, and you need to develop uh, such compassion that you simply cannot bear others being tormented by suffering. But in order to develop this compassion, you must know exactly how you yourself are hurt by suffering. So the renunciation is the mind you know, that wishes to achieve liberation throughout their night. Right? So, <clears throat> so whenever you have uh, developed that thought, I must free, I must free, I must free myself you know, all the time throughout their night, then that's when you have uh, generated the renunciation. You, do you guys think this is available? Yes. 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 Mm, so if somebody you know, who is uh, imprisoned, um, the person who will always you know, think about freeing himself, right? So I wish I could be free, I, should, I wish I could be free from this prison. I okay. So that part wanting to be free from the prison is there all the time. Yeah. It's not, no, it doesn't mean that that, that thought you know, is the only thought that is manifesting all the time, but that thought has to be there. Right. If there are some mothers, the small <coughs> mothers, you know, they always dare or not sleep, whatever they got, they think they have kids. The, you know, the mind thinking about their kid is there all the time, right? And they may say, not all the time, the long as you have a this is not my was. But it uh, doesn't, doesn't mean that thought is manifesting all the time. You can add my thoughts. So whenever one develops that uh, thought, wanting to be free from psychological you know, throughout day and night, then that's when one has generated the genuine renunciation. So in order to develop that, you have to understand the suffering of the samsara. And to know that, you have to understand your own suffering. Okay. What?他的两个。啊，上次就来，你这些没得了，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上去，通过上
as well, especially the rapid you know, progress you know, promised uh, by the secret tantras. Mm -hmm. This is the implication of the names, you know, um, the easy uh, path and the third path. You know, that Mlerva achieved the unification in one lifetime was not due to tantra alone. Tantra alone, he had already turned in the path of the three scopes in former lives. Uh, in, <coughs> in one former life, for example, he was the Kadampa, uh, Chakri Chok, as said in the, in the <coughs> introduction to the mind training. He says, although people who embark on the secret tantra uh, must have trained in the sh in a shared part of the part uh, beforehand, uh, we did not do this. We embarked on the secret tantra first, we did not keep our tantric commitments and thought that thought we meditated on the two stages, they say that the, many such people will go to Vajra hell. For example, how many of you, you taken the Kalachal initiation? Do you all recite uh, the sixth session Guru Yoga? Good. Good. Yes. And so if you, you know, if you have taken the, that initiation uh, and um, if you, you know, recite the six session Guru Yoga, then that's you know, good and you keep the vows. You know, if you don't recite that, then you're breaking many of the vows. And so it says you must be very far sighted uh, from the beginning and you must feel I am prepared you know, to use my entire human life to pursue just one meditation topic of the language. But we are far sighted about worldly things, you know, which is the wrong way around. You know, like uh, persistence in worldly things, not the Dharma. And if you feel it is impossible not to achieve anything in Dharma and practice um, <clears throat> and, uh, with uh, courage, you will not have, uh, uh, not, instance, you will not have to spend a month or a year in a single meditation topic. So you say that, you know, uh, you should not think that, you know, you should not be discouraged thinking that, oh, I don't think I will be able to generate, you know, this uh, realization. So, um, and instead, of, and instead of that, you know, we should work hard, uh, spend, you know, however much time it takes, like months or years and so forth, and, and to do that practice. And so it says, Geshe Kamaba said, We say our contemplation achieved nothing. Why do you think you know, that uh, is? You know, don't lie, you are distracted in the daytime and fall asleep in the nighttime. So in other words, never mind our spending a month on a meditation topic. We have not even meditated on a single topic for, uh, for the length of a single meditation session. How unrealistic to feel. Even how, even now, I haven't uh, developed utilizations. Uh, <clears throat> Are you getting that? I, I, I'm not I don't get anything. <laughs> they say, you doesn't do right way, you doesn't eat up to effort. You know what? They say, you don't have to do anything. 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 
<coughs> so he says, we don't make determined practice in our starting point, uh, yet we roll our eyes into the top of our head and then pretend to meditate. We, <coughs> when we do just one recitation of, for example, Sokapa's basis of all good qualities, <coughs> if we act in this way, our wish to develop insight and realization into human, into, into the numbers, is, is an extremely greedy one. The, <coughs> This is where the false lie. Do you guys have something happen? Something will happen. So, yeah, like Gishla said, like, you know, when you recite these prayers, you, know, you have to have a strong feeling that you, you, you get a goosebump in your in the body. Do you feel that? Do you get that sometimes? Sometimes, special pujas, maybe, some special things. So, you have some special chat, you have special chat here. So if you don't make it special, then it's not special. You have to make it special. <laughs> so if you think, you know, this is a, a special practice, you know, spe special, uh, the practice of the meditation on um, the, uh, the loving kindness, compassion, or bodhicitta, and so forth. Special and it's special. <coughs> so anyway, <coughs> you cannot be you know, kind of a, what is saying, the short sighted on this. You, know, you cannot expect the gods you know, to come by very fast. You, know, you have to spend you know, whatever amount of time it takes you know, to achieve that realization. And now we choose the time we only choose the time. So you know, the, the result of the practice of you know, the Dharma. Uh, it's not something that can be achieved in a very in a short time. So some people you know, they <coughs> practice, they study you know, very diligently and they practice you know, for like a month or maybe even up, up to a year. And after that, if they don't see any realization, then they start sending back all those books to the center. <laughs> I, I have some donation books. <laughs> Although some people bring that, they just put them behind the door. This kind of people, they have very like a short sight for their practice. They have very like a short sight for their practice. So if it is that easy, then this this whole place will be filled with the Buddhas, right? <laughs> there are so many people who study Buddhism, right? There are a lot of monks and nuns, there are thousands and thousands there. That maybe exactly there, maybe a child, maybe I love it, you know, we don't see much. There's a kind of thing, and then they talk to each other, teacher, yes? Well, <coughs> there could be many, I mean, the people who don't know. People like ourselves, no ordinary beings like ourselves, and if we don't get realization, that's, you know, um, and then we give up in a short amount of time, that's you know, being too uh, short sighted. I, I don't know you guys are how. Near sighted. How, how long is practice? But you guys know, you know yourself, how I do my practice, you know. How's my level daily practice? How's my mind? How I have big, you know, and little, you know, I'm not to show, I'm not going to <laughs> we're not hidden to ourselves, right? so we know what we are, you know, what level we are in, and how much knowledge we have, how much realization we have. We know ourselves, right? Other people don't know. That's also some of the time. It's also not much of this. So since we know ourselves, you know, so then you know we should, you know, take that uh, in our mind and then do the practice accordingly. And that kadam, 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 kumbha varanchan namhes mija sahas. So this is what it says, Karat Gumchum in Bhuchin and Kadapa said, look far ahead, be far-sighted, be in tune. So, 
and so then he explains in, in the next paragraph you know, what he meant by uh, look far ahead, be far sighted, and be in tune. So he says these three things are vital. Uh, so the meaning is that you must look far ahead you know, to the goal of omniscience. So that's the far ahead. And be far sighted about the small and medium scopes and meditate you know, to reach the right pitch you know, or tension. Your practice you know, to, uh, should be at the right pitch. So that's what it means by in tune, be in tune, not to strict, not to strict, you know, not to lose, you know, be in a, be in a right you know, uh, tune and so forth. <coughs> and he says here, when you receive Dharma orally from your guru and then practice frantically you know, for a few days you know, with uh, superficial uh, renunciation, this is a sure a sign, sure, this is a sure sign that you will not make progress. <coughs> they talk about it anyway, sometimes you meditation and you think about not too 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 long, too too long term. Just short term, short, 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 then many times one day. So that's about it. And then then now we start you know, the um, uh, the mid the great scopes in part. And so we <coughs> should you know, contemplate on this and again and again and study this and you know, contemplate on this. And if we do that, that will definitely bring change in our mind. So if, we're, you know, <coughs> if we change our mind, then we will become happy. If we become happy, then we will have a good life, happy life. So what we really need is the happy life, right? The happy life is the happy life. The happy life is the happy life. The happy life is the happy life. So the happy life can be only made by the happy mind. You know, so the, the external things cannot really make the life happy. You really need the other thing, but the main thing is the mind. Yeah? <coughs> okay? Then there's any questions?
Okay, he landed the township for nothing, okay? So this is the gold page. It's an essential Buddhist prayer. And it's on page 43. He said the beginning of the 35 confessional Buddha's practice. <coughs> Okay, this is a short one. You do short. If you like, you can memorize it. Got it? Okay, then. Are you ready now? I'm ready now. Okay. <laughs> so the question was about renunciation, and you'd said something about ultimate renunciation. I don't know if you used the word ultimate, but it was something about real renunciation. and use the analogy of a prisoner um, in prison who is constantly thinking about freedom and constantly so on and you said it's always in your mind. So I guess my question is, um, does that mean if in order to have real renunciation or ultimate renunciation that that should be always in your mind to that level? And then along the same lines, how do you know when you sufficiently understood the small and medium scopes now, how do you grade yourself? How do you um, ascertain where you're at? So right now we can think, you know, of course, like I said earlier, you know, we're not getting to ourselves, right? So we know what we can think. So do we have that um, <clears throat> a kind of uh, sense of fear towards the suffering of the lower realm mm -hmm. uh, throughout day and night? Yeah, throughout day and night. So that kind of thinking in us, not manifesting all the time, yeah, you know, but just that's just in your in your in the back of your mind. Is it there all the time? That kind of fear towards the suffering of the lower realms. So ordinary beings, you know, most of us don't even have that. Right? So most of us <coughs> think about the problems that we have in this life and then the problems that we're facing right at the moment. That's our, our time is mostly spent that's on that. <laughs> So we try to do uh, the practice of the great score, but we don't really even fit into the small scores practice. Ah, sorry. Give you chunga sa de se de lu tang ji se de ma ji ma ji shi mei zhong ma ta ta de lu ji de yao ge. Manzu se de lu tang to me ge. So, so small scope, you know, is somebody you know, who has given up this life, right? You know, so not thinking, not worrying about any problems that we face in this life, and we only you know, um, think about the future life. We're always thinking of the future life, not worried, you know, not concerned about this life at all. Thank you. Good. Give me the candy. Thank you. Okay. In the time of the southern Shana. And so if you have that thought thinking about the future life and then thinking about you know, being afraid you know, that you will fall into the lower realm and so I must you know, do something not to fall into the lower realm. You know, so if you have that thought throughout day and night or not, you can think about that first. So if we have that, then we fit into the small scope. 
And then we think about that, and then if we have that, then we fit into the small scopes uh, level. But if we don't have that, then we're not. Uh, and uh, if you have that, then on top of that, uh, so even if I'm free from there, even if I'm born in the upper realm, and I still have all this, I still have to face all this suffering. And so no matter where I'm born in sickness, you know, I'm not free from all this suffering. So I must free myself from all this suffering throughout, you know, all the time. So if you have that thought, thinking I must free myself from this, the entire suffering of cycle existence throughout the end life, then that's when you have the renunciation. And so then not only that, so thinking that uh, it's not sufficient just for myself to be free from all the sufferings, and I have to free all other beings you know, from suffering. So uh, in order to do so, I have to achieve enlightenment. So that uh, the mind wants to achieve enlightenment in order to others, in order to free others from suffering, is there or not throughout the night. You can see that. <coughs> so you can you can have the thought, you know, I mean you can have that motivation, a uh, minor motivation in thinking about other things you know, all the time. And so we can have that motivation. We haven't entered into the path of the small or medium or great scores. Uh, so if you start whatever you do, you know, whatever practice you do, if you start you know, with the thought thinking, I'm going to do this in order to achieve life and benefit of all sentient beings, then that is a Mahayana motivation. So if you do with that thought, any practice you do with that thought becomes Mahayana practice. <coughs> so you can have that thought, and you know, with that thought you do, and then it becomes the you know, Mahayana practice, but you, know, you don't enter into the Mahayana path you know, just by doing that. You know. And uh, for us, you know, let alone you know, entering the Mahayana path, you know, uh, and enter into even a small scope's path is you know, not realistic at that moment, you know, uh, because for that you have to give up this life, and giving up this life is pretty difficult for all of us, right? So right now we're we're too busy just trying to solve the problems of this life. We don't have time to think about We don't have time to think about the sufferings of the next life. Uh, anyway, so if we do any practice you know, with that thought, you know, Mahayana thought, then it becomes more meritorious. You know? so, so if you have more merit, then all your wishes will come true and you will not be inflicted by any harms you know, of the humans or you know, non humans or spirits and so forth. Okay? Thank you, Yashan. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, yeah. then any? you have something? Oh, yes, I was going to ask uh, you There's about. <clears throat> uh, Gishula, the part uh, here about the uh, being in tune and having the right pitch or tension, does that have anything to do with the, uh, there's a story I, I heard about the uh, Buddha who was meditating in Bodhagaya and uh, something about a lute, and you heard this, the lute, I don't know, just a story or... Uh, do you know anything about that? Mm -hmm. uh, the story where the Buddha was meditating in Bodhagaya before he, before he became uh -huh. the Buddha. Uh -huh. And he heard, uh, there's a story of, uh, he heard someone playing a lute. <coughs> and the, uh, they did the strings on the lute were too loose. Oh, I see. Too. So does that have anything to do with uh, this, you know, is there any correlation to this particular? Uh, Sundida, 
놀러 잡았다 놀러 잡았어. 저 촬영 걸었어 이거라. 아 데리러 와야 될 때는 걸어서 나도 성경 말씀 안겨 줬는데 그 상황 안겨 보나. 아 데리러 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 며칠 나서 수개 집 지금 남녀로 집 따고 왔을 때도 내가 그 소리 대체 내가 대다 대는 정말 그랬어. 그럼 말 대야 하고 있을 때. 나 마음을 빼앗아야 돼 가지고 나. 까리 카오리 인심이 직접 들지 않아야 돼. 소 e s he's not sure about the story. He's not familiar with that story. Somebody playing that lute or something. But what, what it means here is not to be too, you know, too tight or not to be too loose you know, when you're doing your practice. Like, like it says here, you have to do the right pitch. You know? And so not, you know, make uh, do whatever you can. Don't try to force yourself you know, too much if you can't do it. 저거 뭐 산다고 고마이나 가지고도 자시 대하지. 개개 때문에 어떻게 잡는 대더나? 사는 저거 개놈은 그 가리를 보았어. So for example if you are meditating on bodhicitta and then you force yourself to meditate on bodhicitta but you don't get anything and then you force yourself again you know? and you get again. You know? So then there's no use, right? It's, it's just a, it's just a, you know giving hard time to yourself. You're not going to get anything out of that. You force yourself too much. For, for example, I'm, this I'm joking, okay? Maybe you meant to say you're wrong, God, God. Now was a hard time to, for the religion, let this Buddhist that you know, you, your wife comes to you, no? Why are you doing that? I'm meditating, if she do second, then you get angry. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have one story. One man, monk, no, he told this story. Meditation, yes? The other one comes, hey, what are you doing? He just called it. I can call it. I'm doing meditation, you know. <laughs> he got angry, you know. He doesn't do very meditation. He, what he's doing, he just focused there. <coughs> Therefore, you know, sometimes you caught, you might not happy, you might not be stable. During that time, not just to only focus there, maybe do some prostration, do some Buddha story, some other books, then you might more, then you move more merit. Also, Uh, if you go to Buddha, your teachers, please keep blessing for me, then, then I can show to you. First, you know, they say, you know, in the holiness say, first maybe you can do one minute. Mm -hmm. Then you, <coughs> then you rest. <coughs> then you rest. Then you maybe second maybe two minutes. Mm -hmm. Then again rest. Then three minutes. First you short, short and more. Right? Short, short and many times, oh. many short times. Yeah. <laughs> so if you just you know, keep on doing you know, uh, for a long time, like one time, then that would be out of tune. But I'm not sure if you're going to get a little bit of 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 a So if you're meditating on relaxation, then you know if you don't gain any relaxation, don't force yourself you know to meditate on that. Instead, you know come out of that meditation and do something else like read book or do other practices. You know, right now we can close the eyes. We can go back to own room, own house. We can find it. And you can get that touch on the mind and the shadow was. So you can imagine about your house, right? You can be open. You if you close your eyes here and then you think about your house, you can have the whole image.
some kind of instrument, could be guitar or like a violin, you know, and, and he had this you know, a strong pride or arrogance thinking that he's the best in the world and nobody can play better than him. He has very you know, strong arrogance and in order to subdue him, in order to bring down his arrogance, then Buddha eliminated himself even as a better player than him. And then he played and then made him good. said, oh, there's someone better than me. I'm not the best. You know, thinking about it, then his arrogance came down. You know, so, so that is the story like that, but I don't know about that one. We're talking about. Okay, that's good. Then, okay, now we finish. Mm -hmm. Alright, you want? Yeah, go, 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 go back to it. Just one this, 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 Ed. Very nice. Is the, in terms of purification, is, I assume that the prostration to the 35 Buddhas is more powerful than the Shantaja Sakha practice because it involves more effort? Go. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think it depends on uh, how you do it, you know, and uh, what, in the, how, how you do it, you know, or what part you carry to do it, and so forth. But anyway, so the practice of the Vajrasattva is to purify the downfalls, you know, from the Tantra, from the Tantra teachings, mm -hmm. and then the, the, the Thirifat Buddha the prostration, you know, is the, uh, the method to purify the downfalls from the Sutra. So I think that's the difference like that, but I, other than that, I don't know if there is a difference in just, just in, in just himself, there's a difference in terms of the strength. You know? mm -hmm. uh, maybe it depends on how you do it, you know, what thoughts you do it. Okay. Get through the sort of show in London, get into the man that don't choose to say the part, love it to us. So, like the, the novice monks or the fully ordered monks, you know, when they have, you know, um, when they create, when they have created a downfall, then they have to express it, they have to mention it, you know, to uh, the, the group of all the monks and nuns. You know, so, uh, that's that's a different ways of doing the uh, practice, you know, to purify the their downfalls. Okay. There are many different, different ways in the dark country. Uh, so anyway, both, both of them are very powerful practice, you know, to purify the native karmas. Okay, let's turn it. You done? Oh, Mark, you been here. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good bones, close. <laughs>